Salam and greeting story time friends. How are you all today? It's time for another story. Are you ready? Come on, let's go. Today's story is called Hassan and Anissa Go to Masjid, written by Yasmin Rahim, illustrated by Omar Burgess. Hassan and Anissa are going to the masjid today. A masjid is a special place to pray. Anissa is very excited. She has never been before. Daddy drives to the masjid. Look, Anissa, there it is. That's the masjid, says Hassan, Anissa's older brother. Anissa leans close to the window to have a look. Wow, it's mag magnif magnificent, Mummy says. Daddy parks the car and Hassan and Anissa jump out. The masjid is huge, says Anissa. And look at all those big windows. I like the minaret, Hassan says, pointing to the tall tower. Mummy, Daddy, Hassan and Anissa are in the masjid now. We will see you when the prayer has finished, Daddy says to Anissa. He holds Hassan's hands and walks away. Where are Daddy and Hassan going, Anissa says. In a masjid, boys and girls don't sit together, Mummy replies. Come on, Anissa, let's make wudu before we pray. Anissa and Mummy go to the girls' wudu room. There are women and little girls sitting on low seats. They are washing their hands, face, and feet with water. Now it's time for Anissa to make wudu. Mummy helps her. Anissa turns on the tap and splashes the water everywhere. You shouldn't waste water, Mummy explains. Look, you've soaked my clothes. Mummy makes wudu after Anissa. Anissa and Mummy walk to the girls' prayer room. Anissa, take your shoes off and put them on the shoe rack, Mummy says. Anissa spots a perfect place for her little pink shiny shoes. Anissa can finally go into the prayer hall. She pushes the doors open and tiptoes inside. Let's find a place to sit down, Mummy says. Anissa looks all around her and then she looks up. Mummy, the roof is round, Anissa says. That's called a dome, Mummy replies. Anissa stares at all the colorful and pretty patterns on the dome. Mummy and Anissa sit down in the middle of the girls' prayer room. This carpet feels really soft and smooth. My hand can even sink into it, Anissa says. Yes, you're right, Anissa. The carpet is very soft, says Mummy. I like all the flowers on it as well, Anissa says. Anissa sees some small windows. She peers through them. Hassan, Hassan, Anissa shouts. Mommy, I can see Hassan. Shh, Anissa says, Mommy, you should speak quietly in the masjid. You might disturb someone if you shout. Okay, sorry, Mommy, Anissa whispers. Hassan hears Anissa call him. He turns around and waves to her. Look, says Hassan, there's Ali. Ali is Hassan's school friend. Hassan turns toward Ali, but a man puts his arms out to stop him. Then Daddy tells Hassan that he must not walk in front of people when they are praying. Hassan walks behind the man sensibly and meets Ali. Hassan sits down. He sees a big curve in the wall. That's called a mihrab, Daddy says. It shows us the qibla, which is the way we face when we pray. I'm going to pray right in front of the mihrab, says Hassan. Only the imam stands there, Hassan, Daddy says, smiling. Near the mihrab, there is something with steps going up. Is that a stage? Hassan asks. No, it's called a mimbar. On Friday before Juma prayer, the Imam stands at the top of the mimbar and gives a khutbah, a talk about Islam. 
a man walks to the front of the hall and starts the adhan. His voice is big and loud. Who's that, daddy? asks Hassan. He's the muaddin. He calls people to pray, says daddy. Everybody can hear the adhan in the masjid, including mummy and Anissa. It is time to pray. Anissa, stand next to me, says mummy. Okay, mummy, Anissa says. I'm going to pray like a big girl. The imam starts the prayer. Allahu Akbar. He then recites the prayer in the loveliest way Anissa has ever heard. The prayer has finished and the room isn't quiet anymore. Some people are going and some people are staying. Mommy, are we going now? Anissa asks. Not yet. I just want to pray a bit more, says Mommy. It's time to find Daddy and Hassan. Look, Mommy, there's Hassan and Daddy met his friend, Anissa says. She runs up to Hassan and gives him a hug. On the way out of the masjid, Hassan sees a box on a table. People are putting money into the box. What's that, Mummy? he asks. It's a sadaqa box. Money we put inside is given to people who might be hungry, scared, or alone, says Mummy. Can I put money? Can I put some money into the box? Hassan asks Daddy. Of course you can, Daddy says. Afterward, it is time to go home. Hassan and Anissa had a wonderful day at the masjid. Assalamu alaikum, story time friends. How are you today? Our story was called Hassan and Anissa go to the masjid. Hassan and Anissa learn about going to the masjid with their family and they learn how to pray, make wudu, and learn that they can give charity as well when they put money in the sadaqa box. This was a great way for children to learn how to pray at the masjid and being involved in the masjid. I hope you enjoyed this story. Let's go ahead and count down the days of our fast and the days until Eid. So come, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Today is our 25th fast. Let's count down our days of Eid. Yesterday was we had six days left. And today we have... Five days left until Eid. I hope you're enjoying the stories. Until next time, see you soon. Assalamu